set the fear rate or something. Okie dokie. We have the final run of day two. I'm just surprised I stayed up this late. I'm dead ass tired. Um, but we are here. We are in the clear. Uh, get used to it. That's not how that saying goes, but I don't like the way that that saying goes. CC is still here. I'm still here. This is Kirby Air Ride 5 Hot Dogs percent as featured in Speed Docs. That's right. And yeah, uh, tell them what we're doing, and then let's get this show on the road. So uh, we are doing a uh, kind of a silly side category called uh, 5 Hot Dog percent, where... Uh, as the name implies, the goal of this run is to collect five hot dogs. Uh, hot dogs are a randomly spawning food item. Uh, don't ask me why it's hot dogs. I mean, they're funny. So, I mean, that's 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 what we're doing here. So, buckle up. There's there is no strategy here. We're just dicking around. So, I got the primo. Primo RNG manipulation strats. If you get the friggin' random event, I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I will too. Alrighty, I'm ready. Alright, count us down, CC. Alrighty, so in three, two, one, go! Alright, so while he's going around getting hot dogs, I'm gonna tell you my anthrax story really quick. Oh, you didn't tell it? Alright. Well, because, you know, end of the night and whatever. So, um, we were, uh, my sister was in high school, and some dude said that he had anthrax and he was going to infect the whole school. And so they found him, and they, they like, cordoned off everybody who had to stay in their room and wherever they were. Like, they, like, sat, if you were in the hallway, you sat in the middle of the hallway and didn't move. And the police came, and it was very scary. And then they basically let everybody go outside because they were like, oh, we're going to disinfect the halls and everything. But it was really to put this boy on public display. Um, they took him out into the field. Got a dog. Yep. And uh, sprayed him with the fire hose uh, until his skin basically came off. Oh, my God. But, yeah, well, you can't really joke about anthrax. No, I mean, that's sure. I agree. <laughs> um, and it wasn't anthrax, it was baking soda. Um, don't, you know. Don't joke so, around. <laughs> and, the, and the whole school got to watch. So, yeah. Because the uh, cafeteria, the little courtyard area, overlooked the field. None of those uh, geographic locations are there anymore because they redesigned the entire school. They actually changed where the front of the building is, which I, it bothers me on an ethereal level. <laughs> All right, well, to give you an update, I found one of the dogs. Wow, we got a burger. Let's go. Not a dog, oh, that though. Does, yeah, not a dog. It's a different kind of dog. All right, Castle Hall, maybe. Uh, not quite. I don't have the event just yet. All right. Got well, it. the volcano is usually good for a doggy. Oh, you say usually. And it's hey, potential. Listen, I've, watched, <laughs> I've watched a lot of hot dog runs. More than you have. That's true. That's true. I did this for fun. I watched it for fun. That's true. That's uh, true. So, I don't know if any of you guys know how to make a hot dog. It's really simple. My preferred method, outside of the grill, because the grill is like the, the perfect medium for cooking a hot dog. Uh, the microwave. You know, 30, uh, 55 seconds, 59 if you're feeling fancy, 55 is a finger roll, which uh, totally makes it worth it. Uh, wrap those, uh, in, put those in potato rolls, potato hot dog buns, wrap those buns in one uh, double ply napkin, cook for 55 seconds, take out of the napkin, and you have steamed your buns and eaten uh, a pretty damn good hot dog. Also, never do anything but all beef. Now, if you're, if you're grilling Nathan's or Sabrettes, Sabrettes are really the key. You know? I've been Nathan's before. Never heard of Sabrettes, though. It might be yeah, a northern thing. You know, it's okay. We all know you haven't been in New York. 
Sure. There's a word for people like you. Oh yeah? Most. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so what's kind of annoying is that these uh, these offense ups uh, look a lot like hot dogs from a distance. So, uh, you'll be like, oh hey, there's an orange curved crescent thing over there. Nope, not a dog. Alright, I've hit all the uh, all the good spots. Now we're just looking at, at boxes. And... Uh, they only spawn in blue boxes, by the way. So that's why you'll notice I'm not breaking every single box I can I can possibly find. Oh god. But yeah, so uh, we're just here big chilling. This is uh, <laughs> this is the run. This is it. This is what you paid for. Y'all raised like two hundred dollars to see this twice. Well. It's not the worst use of their money. They <laughs> did pay. They also paid. The people paid for smart ball toys. Oh, that's true. That that's was true. surreal. Quo was so mad about that incentive, too. <laughs> I'm sure Quo's equally mad about this incentive. Well, he tried. He tried to convince me that it was a bad idea by telling me, like, "Okay, but you're gonna have to tell another runner that you didn't accept their run." Because you took smart ball twice. I said, I will have that conversation with that person. <laughs> like, your game sucks so hard that I was willing to take the ah, same dog. game twice. Hot dog! Ah. Okay, I'm, you know I'm what? That's all I'm getting out of this us. one. Oh, that's right. You, it, <laughs> you can reset. <laughs> I can reset. I don't have to get it in one shot. I just have to get five hot dogs. Everybody also remember to go and ask JR in the Speed Dogs Discord and ask him if I can have a train whistle. <laughs> okay. I don't want this to be a me expense. I want to see if he'll approve a Speed Dogs train whistle that I can hold on to in the office. Damn. Got a burger and an apple, no dog. You know what they say, a hot dog a day keeps uh, diabetes at bay? Mm. Definitely think it's diabetes calling card, but you know. <laughs> or at least you high know, cholesterol. <laughs> I'm Wolfer Brumla and I have diabetes. So I checked the hot spots, nothing from the big star pole, and nothing from the volcano. Now we're just back to breaking blue boxes. Uh, let's see here. You get a million dollars. Okay. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But one day per month, you develop taste buds on some part of your body that you would ideally not like there to be taste buds. Mm. So, like your hands, one month it could be your feet, it could be your bum, it could be like elbow, the back of your knee. Mm. It's random, you know, uh, but it's a million dollars. Now, is that every day for the rest of my life or every once a one week? Once per month, Once a per random month. part of your body. This is for the rest of my life. Yeah. Well, you know what I would say? What's that? Think about it like, it's like, you know, women menstruate, of course. And so they have a week of their life where, like, their clothes don't fit, and they're mm. grumpy, and, you know, doing this whole, like, shedding the uterine lining yeah. thing. Uh, thing. Yeah. Well, just imagine that that's your period day, you know? You know what? You just that's you a, have taste good, buds in your asshole. That's a good point, you know? And for I get paid a million dollars. They have to live with it regardless. Yeah, exactly. You know. I think I'd take that. Here's what you do. You, you kill your sense of smell, too. Right? <laughs> and then you cheat the whole system. I don't know if you're cheating the whole system, but you're definitely getting, <laughs> you're definitely getting away uh, with murder a little bit. Well, you know, I'll say that the worst thing that... that uh, is that happens when you lose your sense of smell. Poppy seeds become mm. sand. 
It's a shame. Uh, I really like poppy seeds. I guess so. And before women apology, I said that women menstruate. Secret. The secret hall is open. DJ, is this it? Is this it? This, no, it's are not. Are you gonna get the secret hall event? It's only. Uh, it's only defense ups. So that secret hall can technically be any item in the game, and that includes hot dogs. It's something like a one in ten thousand chance that it'll be hot dogs. Uh, so don't get your hopes up, but you know, never say never, as the Beebs would say. Why would I need to apologize? Oh, AP is just being AP. Pay him no mind. At? Surely. <laughs> Where are the women at? <laughs> Listen, all three of you, come here really quick, please. <laughs> Truly, spicy, we need you to speak for all women right now. Not all women. <laughs> okay, some of them don't menstruate. You have little faith in me if you think that would be my apology. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I From am... the bottom of my heart, I'm deeply apologizing for explaining the biology behind something that happens to you on a monthly basis for like 40 years. 30. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. I kind of want to go ahead and reset the level here, but I'll wait, I'll wait till it's two minutes, or, you know, one thirty. do one final round here, check. You're dying? Thank you, Spicy, I'm glad that my material is landing with somebody! Yeah. Candy's gonna chime in with the dog emote, like I wasn't here for any of it, but okay. All right, What's the is... dog's name? Candy. Candy is the dog's name, yes. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'm not getting anything on this one. As Shirley pointed out, I usually call her much worse words when I say hello to her. So <laughs> <laughs> saying that women menstruate does not need an apology. <laughs> What's wrong? Okay. Glad we got that settled. Look, look at potato. Stop the message me. Look at me. Look at me. You're a DJ now. You are a DJ now. <laughs> oh, we got a burger, not a dog. How many are we up to? Three. You know, this is a. If this was five burger percent, we'd actually be pretty close. What kind of fucking po dumb restaurant are you running here? This is like some shit. Even New Yorkers get hot dogs, right? Other other towns, man, y'all be y'all be acting shack in a fool. You put do like a bagel, you, they put the cream cheese on, ketchup mustard. That's it. Bun, ketchup mustard, a pretzel dog. None of that. You know? We hate the pretzel now. There's a purity to it as a form of culinary art. Gotta get the dirty hot dog water. Yeah. Listen. The method by which you cook it is important. Don't That's get true. Me wrong. You don't want to lose but, the seasoning. <laughs> the, there's a great line in The Simpsons where Homer uh, gets a fast food quickie dog, and he's like, "Wow, oh, oh, this hot dog, this quickie dog tastes different." He's like, "Oh yes, I just cleaned the grease out of the trap. It is no longer covered in putrid grease." He's like, "Yeah, well, without the grease, all you can taste is the hog anus." <laughs> <laughs> Dirty hot dog water makes hot dogs better. True, it's true. I hope we don't send this team out as Let's send out the hours and hours where I was a consummate professional and not me vamping for time while we look for two more hot dogs. Uh, it's unfortunate, but... You maxed out, like, defense up somehow before. And That's because I, had, the I, one where I had the chamber. Had the castle chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Seven more dogs to go. <laughs> yeah, at least we get to reset, kind of. We had a clean start on those last one. Wow, the cock crate. 
Big Law, those are future dogs, okay? That's next generation's problem. That's future CJ and CC's problem. Yes. Quo is like banging his head on the desk. He's like, come on. <laughs> I just want to go to bed. I'm tired and I want to go home. I think he's restreaming every single run Oh my god. He's playing balloons. Alright. When I start the we reset press. 3 a.m. when CJ starts talking about women's issues. Women's issues are human rights issues. Amen. Take me to church. Alrighty, let's see. For my luck, my mom left her laptop on. She's been listening to this entire time. Mom, this was all a dream. <laughs> I worship like a hot dog. There you go. I worship like a hot dog in the shot of your light. Hey, any dogs? No dogs. Damn it. CC, I don't think you could buy a dog to save your life right now. No, I can't. What I didn't tell you is that uh, the other day I did a practice run of this, and it took me DNF'd? and it took me 30 minutes. Oh my god! <laughs> this is why people complain in the video where they're like, "Why do you guys leave in all the tutorials?" I'm like, "Listen, y'all don't appreciate it. This is hard work. It is in fact hard work." You know, I gotta say, the thing that I said before the thing I said about the women, that was way worse. <laughs> like having taste buds on some part of your body. Yeah. That's infinitely worse. Yeah, I mean, it has the potential to be way worse. I mean, I meant for it to be way worse. Yeah. And then I went with your elbow. Yeah, I think all you did mention all... bum in there at some point, so, you know, you got it in. Well, that was a question that, you know, that's... I'm that is that is the question. Thing. If, you, if, it, if it drew from a possible bank of 12, you know, you can take a, what's that, you know, do that math in your head, like an 8% chance. Something like that. CC, my dude, where the fuck are these hot dogs at, bro? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Give me a dog. <laughs> and y'all really wasted your money. Yeah, no kidding. You're going to be here all night. 8.25%. Thank you. I was close. You know, at this point, let's just make this the next Speedrun Insider podcast, right? All right. Let me uh, do the music really quick. This is the Speedrun Insider. Bum, 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 ba, bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Hello, and welcome back to Speedrun Insider. My name is CJ, it's all good. Thank you so much for joining me this week and every week. My guest today is my friend, the guest of podcast number 10. He's my friend and yours. It's CC Neverender. Hey. CC, what's going on, man? Not much, man. We're, uh, we're hosting... A legendary Speed Dogs Presents Launch Party Marathon event. That's what's up. You know, oh, absolutely. Well, uh, talk to me about how our launch party's been going up until this point. Honestly, uh, I kind of went in with this idea that we'd raise maybe $2,000. And uh, somehow, by the, the grace of the people, we've raised over $2,000. Thousand one hundred and sixty dollars. We're actually at twenty one sixty eight right now. That's a lot of dollars. That's a lot of dollars, right? And it's it's for a great cause. And I am more than floored at the idea of it. More than floored, Delacour. Well, uh, I gotta say, uh, you know, you've uh, definitely had your fair share of good runs in this marathon, right? I'm looking at the schedule. You did um, Command and Conquer. You yeah. did 
Uh, Pokemon Snap. Uh, you almost got a PB there. You got a PB there. Yeah. That was the sixth PB of the marathon. Yeah. For everyone. Keep I learned a new game. You did learn a new game in real time and got a PB. True, Even when true. your teacher failed somehow. I know. The you te- messed them up <laughs> the with, your, with the your narcotic counting. <laughs> you know, who do it better do? Oh, maybe I'll we'll fight a ball, maybe I won't. Yeah, well, talk to me a little bit about what's left on the agenda for... Uh, well, I guess this podcast will come out after the launch party's over. Uh, so what do you guys have planned next? So, uh, I mean, we're taking a short break because obviously Pokemon Snap 2 coming out soon. Uh, gonna be focused on, on that, you know. The both of us, we are very invested in Pokemon Snap speedruns, as you could quite possibly imagine. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like that. And then I think up next is Shadow of the Colossus is the next video on our docket here. And, uh, that's gonna be a doozy. Uh, that'll be one dilly of a pickle, if I uh, may invoke a little French. Mm. Well, that's great news. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure that there will be more announcements here in the future as we get far closer to, uh, you know, whatever time and place and space that we end up being. I can't believe you have not found two hot dogs in the last 10 minutes. I know, I know. We're in a drought. <laughs> this is like, we're starting to become a statistical alarm. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Even Goldberg had a sparkler. Instead of a real podcast, this is what we're going to upload to the YouTube channel. There you go. Shoe, wow. shoe On missed. location. I can't believe you missed it, Shoe. A part that of me wants to. Uh, a part of me wants to record it and go do another run. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you, you'd finish that run before. Uh, <laughs> before you finish this That's right. Run. That's absolutely right. All right. There's a blue crate. I missed. Winner, it. winner, chicken dinner. But uh, no. I am actually, like, in disbelief <laughs> at the bad luck that you're getting. It's something, that's for sure. Adventure Potato says, like my status if you're a statistical anomaly. Press one to doubt. That's a great line from In Bruges. Oh, nice hot dog! Baddies. We got a dog! Four! Four! That was three! <laughs> no, that was four! Was it? Oh. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, now! Whoa, no, whoa, now! Okay, this is actually good. We can use this. We can use this pillar here. There's potential. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna get beat up. Well, I got a, I got a plate of curry, but no dog. No. I know, I know. What are we talking about? I don't remember. It's hard when you like made me go full Oscar proud. I know. Oh no! Oh no! Now. For some reason, I can never get the line right, but I get the, the, I get the feeling right. I just never get the words. Whoa, no, whoa, now! Yeah, whoa, no, whoa, now. <laughs> what you do? Oh, God, I oh. can't stop. Oh, no. All right. Uh, we were talking about uh, Pokemon Green. Oh, uh, yeah, that was actually, like, probably... Like, I knew that that was going to be really fun, but that thing kind of exceeded expectations a little bit. Yeah, a little. I didn't realize that was that broken, right? I've seen um, uh, blue uh, no-save corruption, right? And that's, like, so much more complicated, right? We have to make it all the way to beat Brock, and then after you beat Brock, it's like then you can start working on Manips and things like that, and then you can go out of bounds, and then you can start doing manipulation. Right? 
But this, it was like, all right, you got the parcel? All right, now swap a couple of menu items, menu things around, and then all of a sudden, game's broken. All right. All right, well, we're on All right. Now. You know, it's a really sad thing because uh, you, as I'm watching you on the stream, Right. Which means that if you don't pog and pop off, uh, I know that you didn't find one because you're not gonna not pop off. <laughs> so if I like see a blue box, I'm like, maybe that's it. I'm like, oh no, he already got there, broken, found out there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you have the spoilers, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Um. Man. This just doesn't even seem like possible. Ah! Hot dog! We did right. it! That's time! That's time! 2431. Alright, all right, that's one hot dog. <laughs> alright, alright. Hot dog! Alright, reset. And we're gonna run it back! Run it back! Reset that timer. Oh, we said it. We said it. We said this to him 20 minutes. We're fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Start that timer. I got my timer started, so whatever. Whichever one works. What no, whoa now. Oh, I fell in. Oh. George. Look out the jungle, watch out for that tree. No dog. Ah, okay. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna get Castle Hall the event this time, and that's what's gonna happen. Yep, gonna get world record. I'll be the hot dog king. I'll be the wiener king. <laughs> Oh man, that video is peak comedy. I don't care who you are. You know, CC, I mean, to say, I think our videos are high school essays that are filled with too much wordplay and puns for its own good, and the editor thinks that he's smarter than he really is. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the hot dog king in your heart? Well, thank you. I'm the glizzy god. There's a video that exists of me and JR when we used to do a old Let's Play channel. Right. Where we, we sang Bonnie Tyler's A Total Eclipse of the Heart together. Okay. And we posted it as a video, and it was like the only video that people ever watched that we made. <laughs> so there's a, there's a cover of uh, me and JR as a duet singing A Total Eclipse of the Heart. I forget in what circumstance we sang that. That's very funny. I'm just saying, people should aspire to be more like uh, Bonnie Tyler. She really left it all out on the floor with that song. I'm gonna be honest. I uh, I'm sure I've heard it, but I don't recognize. But Recognize it by name. Song? Uh, the song. Photo Clips of the Heart. I'm so ashamed of you. I know, I'm the worst. And I need you now, tonight. And I need you more than ever. Okay, I have heard that. Once upon a time I was falling in love. Now I'm only falling apart. No? Yeah? Yeah, I've heard that. I Turn around, bro, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Forever's Thank you. gonna start the night. Thank you for that beautiful rendition. Thank you for jogging yeah. my memory. Well, you know, all it needed was a good sprint. Oh. Man, we... we couldn't buy a hot dog if we had a hot dog for trade. 
<laughs> Never heard that before, but alright. We say that all the time in the, the car business. And that guy couldn't get a car if he had a stick. That guy couldn't finance a stick of gum if he had a stick of gum for trade. Take care of your credit, people. Okay. It's like it's like your teeth. You don't really think about it until they're like, "Hey, let's put some wooden dentures in." You know. Speed dogs after arrows karaoke. I was talking about the Keenan and Kel theme song earlier. That song goes so hard for actually no for a children's sense. I'm trying to be a good friend, but I'm like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but you know, like, I hear ya, I hear ya. Maybe put, maybe put it in debug mode. Maybe reset the console. I don't know. Who knows, dude? I am playing on the English version, so we will get hot dogs. Oh, what's the <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> Some powerful fake. All right, quit that one. All right. I do karaoke if you didn't live with other people. You know, I think part of the karaoke is the performance. It's true. It's the whole package. It's not just the, not just the song and dance, but. The song and dance, you know what I'm saying? Kirk Cobain? Why does everyone keep saying Kirk Cobain? Who knows, dude? I feel like I want to tell a story, but I don't know what story to tell. Biggie Smalls had a story to tell. Oh, yeah? You heard that song? I don't know. Probably not. Are you kidding me? I'm not sick of that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen to that one. Yeah, I'll have, have to find out my own time. <laughs> That's a you problem. <laughs> yeah, no. Part of me wants to just keep resetting until we find it in the volcano or the star rod. I mean, you know. I'm not telling you how to live your life. Anyway, I'll give this one two more minutes, and then I'll just start doing that. Sure. You know, we might be depriving ourselves of vital dogs. It's true, it's true. Our journey to D.C.? Uh, yeah, I remember that, night, that day a little bit. I don't remember all the details. Uh, so at AGDQ 2017, the first time I had ever gone to a Games Done Quick event, and uh, it was in DC, and I—I uh, I know initially, uh, my roommate wanted to go, and I sort of fielded out questions and see if anyone else wanted to go. And then Big Law was down. Big Law was like, "Hell yeah, let's go!" I, I, maybe he even approached me. I don't even remember the details, but I knew that we were gonna go one day, and my roommate was gonna go with us. But she ended up getting like ill, and she didn't feel like getting out of bed. So, you know, Big Law and I went on our own. We took an Uber, and there's a train station. A, a, uh, I wouldn't call it a subway, because it goes well above ground, but it's a rail. I don't know how else you would call it. There's a railway that takes you all the way from uh, Herndon, Virginia, where we were at, all the way down to uh, to Washington, D.C. proper. Down to the, the, what do you call it? The mall. What's the South Mall? The President Mall? What's it? You know what I'm talking about? Anyways. Yeah, the the, the National Mall? Is it National Mall? It's something like that. It's the mall. That's what you call that place. Right? Yeah. And uh, and so we uh, we uh, got ourselves an Uber. And uh, we got an Uber with someone who doesn't speak English. So uh, luckily, I, uh, I was able to... Uh, luckily, I studied Spanish for three years in high school. So uh, um, I was able to tell him... You know, a la derecha, like to the right, or a la izquierda, to the left, right? And uh, his Google Maps didn't work, so I had to uh, I had to navigate for him to the train station. 
That was a journey. And a, one and a half, right? We finally get to the train station, and it's like this weird complex. It's like you got to go upstairs from like the street level, and there's like an open air platform. And anyways, we asked the Starbucks people where to go, and they pointed us in the right direction. Anyways, so we finally get on train. And, uh, oh, oh, hot dog! I did say I'd give it two more minutes. So, uh, you know, we finally get on the train. We're trying to get on the train. Actually, take a step back. We're trying to get on the train. I'm trying to buy a ticket, and I've never done this before. So I go up to the attendant, and I'm like, hey, man, we're trying to go down to Washington, D.C., right, to see the Smithsonian. And he gives me this look like, what? Also, dog! Dog, 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 dog! Woo! Back to back. Were we three? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're back where we started. <laughs> back where we started. You know, CC wrote the gospel on giving up. And, uh, wowie! Yes. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so we, I, the guy gives us this crazy look. I'm like, yeah, we need to go down to the Smithsonian. He's like, what? said the Smithsonian like Washington DC it's like whoa I'm like yeah how do we get there he's like you take the A train I'm like okay I'm not from around here so sorry he's like yeah go over there buy your ticket from the machine and get on the A train he's like act like we're crazy people I'm like okay bud sorry that dude yelled at us for no reason anyways we got on the train we uh we went there and I'm like my buddy Tony my buddy Tony spent a semester doing extracurricular stuff in Washington DC and he is in love with DC and he's like oh man if you're ever in DC let me know because I got some restaurants you gotta try so I'm like all right bet big law what do you want to eat right like my buddy knows a couple of great restaurants in the area we should really check them out and he's all like you know what big law's like you know what I'm um I ain't trying to do all that uh let's go to this McDonald's so I said, okay, well, I guess I'll hang up my idea of going to the Phoenician and we'll uh, we'll just go to McDonald's and get a couple of Big Macs. Right? Ba, 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 ba. Now, wait, we were loving it. And uh, so we went to McDonald's and uh, we went to... Uh, we went down to the uh, Abe Lincoln Memorial. And, uh, they listen. We went down to the Abe Lincoln Memorial, and they had a whole bunch of scaffolding up, because I guess they were doing some sort of renovation. Also, just so everyone's clear, that, uh, this event took place before the Trump, uh, inauguration. I was not there for the Trump inauguration. So, that is not the reason I was there in D.C. Oh, that's true. I did pocket McDouble. What? I didn't, like, steal it. But, like, I was just like, you know what? Big Law's like, oh, I'm going to get, like, you pulled a cheeseburger out of your pocket. Yep. At the Washington <laughs> Monument. Yep. We were walking what? back from the Lincoln Memorial. We were walking to the Smithsonian. And that's on the other side of the Washington Monument. So we're walking. And uh, we've been walking for a while. We're both kind of cold. You know, it's cold out in these streets. And uh, I got I got a couple of big doubles in my pocket, and uh, you know what I did? I said, "Hey, you, you still hungry, big big one?" I pulled one out, and uh, he's like, "Yo, bet!" And so we ate, we uh, we shared a big double. You, I have no words. Ah, uh, come on, we've all done it. No, we've all done it. I remember. I went to school with this guy who showed up. Dog, 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 dog. <gasps> dog, all right, it's four. And he had a cup with him. He had a cup of water with him. Yep. And he was in my first grade class. And he was like 15 or something, and I hated his guts. Yeah. And he, and I'm like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, this is hookah water. I'm like, drinking bong water it's <laughs> it's it's 8 in the morning dog that was it we did it that's it that's it time Woo! that's time hit the timer 
Oh my god. Slap that like button. That was in 13 minutes. It, it was all the hook of water story, dude. That's right. That was right. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else to the rest of that story, but uh, if Big Law remembers. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Lady and Tramp, and they dump what the Washington Monument. All right, well, that's going to do it for the Speedrun Insider Podcast. Thank you, CC, for being my guest. <laughs> of course, of course. Anytime, bud. All right. Well, yeah, thank you, for everyone, for listening at home. You've been a great audience. Rate us, review us, give us five stars. If you give us four stars, I'm inclined to believe that you are a hater. And we will see you next time for another special guest next week on the Speedrun Insider Podcast. Absolutely. Thanks All for right, watching. That bit's done. Thank you, everybody, for watching this great day of launch party. This has been great. Uh, Quosif, if you're here, can you take us back to the intermission screen so we can find somebody to raid? Hope you all enjoyed that. Every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, in the in the goddamn refrigerator. Rest in peace, that guy. John Witherspoon. Damn, learn names. Okay, here are our options. 
Let me check. Let me just make sure that these are options. Yep. Hope you enjoyed the CC block. This has been this has been my time. I'll be we around can, tomorrow. Okay. We can out. raid fear. Hmm. Okay. Or we can raid conception. Hmm. Fear is doing going commando. Conception is doing sword and shield. Oh, he's doing like a race thing. Yeah, he's not reading chat. Okay, let's go raid. Uh, you want to go raid Fear? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. I think I'm logged into it. I think a mod can do it, right? Yep. All right. And the raid messages. What is the raid message? Hot, Hot dog. dog. Thank you, everybody, so much for your incredible generosity. We will see you back tomorrow at noon Eastern with bug snacks, no major skips. Ooh, I like your message better. <laughs> I got the emoji in there. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? All right, pound that raid button. Pound the raid button. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Gotta give it a second for the message to propagate and go.